Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Back in Michigan, I've been in Costa Rica for a month. I went to a music festival, hung out at the beach, dislocated my right shoulder two times within a period of about two weeks. And it was an amazing journey, uh, absolutely incredible. Um, my shoulder is still healing and recovering, so I'm wearing Intelliskin, uh, which is a, a kind of like an Under Armour type shirt, but tighter under to kind of like keep my shoulder more intact and taking a lot of supplements and recovery things. But uh, really good time, uh, learned a lot, made some, just had an amazing time. So uh, glad to be back making videos for you guys, for you ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I want to talk about Febreze and Lysol and those odor spray can things that you see at the store that you may have and use in your home. Uh, and I have uh, at least 10, 15, specifically 16 solid reasons you should stop using uh, Febreze, Lysol, and those types of things. So uh, basically those cans, we'll just use Febreze as an example, uh, they're odor repellents, if you will, or odor sterilizers. Uh, but, but if you look into what those uh, actually are, so if you look at Febreze, for example, uh, it contains an array or a concoction of chemicals. It's a recipe, it's a, it's a recipe of chemicals uh, to deodorize and re remove uh, removes, uh, odor, smells, and things like that. Uh, and if you actually look at the ingredients, you'll find that chemicals like BHT, propylene glycol, and all these other chemicals are in the ingredients. And what these chemicals uh, do is they have individual effects that are negative and suppress the body, uh, the immune system, irritate the skin, the eyes, the lungs, uh, and the body as a whole. So basically, uh, this recipe concoction, this, this chemical recipe, uh, has a huge array of effects. So first of all, there's carcinogens uh, in Febreze. So carcinogens are just cancer-causing chemicals, cancer-causing agents, and you're spraying those around your home. So uh, spraying cancer-causing chemicals around your home or workplace or car, whatever, is obviously not a good idea. So that's the first reason you should stop using Febreze, Lysol, and those types of deodorant uh, deodorizers immediately because there's typically, especially in Febreze and Lysol and those types of things, carcinogens in them. Uh, once again, uh, BHT, propylene glycol, things like that, uh, that irritate skin, eyes, lungs, uh, breathing it in is, is just irritating to your cells, to your body, to your health. Uh, propylene glycol uh, specifically, uh, and, and BHT I believe as well, are both endocrine disruptors, meaning they disrupt the hormonal system, uh, so you're disrupting your hormonal system, uh, and then they're also, uh, you're also uh, suppressing your immune system, and, and you'll probably have, uh, some people have allergic reactions to that, because the body's trying to like, sort of like discharge these chemicals that are foreign to the body. So you're basically attacking your body, your skin, your eyes, your, your lungs, your immune system, uh, and all your internal organs with these carcinogenic, endocrine disrupting, uh, irritating, toxic chemicals. Uh, so that's why I don't recommend using Febreze, Lysol, or any of those types of things. So that's just the gist of why I would, I would recommend avoiding those completely. There are alternatives. You can use hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you can use what I tip, what I do is I have an aromatherapy diffuser and I use pure therapeutic grade essential oils. So I just diffuse essential oils in my home, and then I also take essential oils uh, from DoTerra actually, and I put them in a spray bottle. And I put like uh, there's one called Purify, and or like lime for example. And I put these essential oils in that spray bottle, just a glass spray bottle with water, and I'll just spray that around the house and. And I'll spray it, like, I'll use that for cleaning, so it's a, you can actually use it to clean and deodorize and have a pleasant smell at the same time. Uh, but the plus, here's the positive. By using something like Febreze or Lysol, you're inhaling, ingesting, uh, and suppressing your immune system, and it's carcinogenic and all these types of things. So if you look at a scale that's, like, way down here, and you, you're, you're creating, you're putting something and interacting with something in your body and your health that's lowering your health. So say there's, like, a middle ground here. If you use essential oils, it's at the top of that scale, so say it's from 0 to 100, 0 being the worst, that's Febreze, Lysol, and those types of things, 50 being a medium, being something that's neutral, uh, and then 100 being the top, the, the actually something that's beneficial for your health and well-being. Uh, using something like essential oils are great because you still can deodorize the air and make the environment smell good, uh, but also kill germs and bad bacteria and things like that, but also get the therapeutic benefits of inhaling those essential oils. So if it's lime or peppermint or lavender, uh, it can have a calming sedative effect on the mind, on the nervous system, on your brain, on, on brain chemistry, on emotions. 
uh, and, and just on your health and well-being overall. Right? And for example, peppermint actually improves uh, lung function and the ability to breathe deeply and things like that. So uh, I just recommend using essential oils. If you want to learn more about essential oils, you can message me on Facebook or email me on my website, and I can give you specific recommendations. Uh, but essential oils are a great alternative to Febreze, Lysol, and those types of things because you aren't getting all that crap and you're just getting something healthy that has the same effects, and it's homemade, uh, and it's really cheaper. It's actually cheaper, and it's much healthier, because you're only using four or five drops of an essential oil, maybe two or three essential oils, and a spray bottle of water, and then you just use that, and then, you know, that works too. So uh, it's cheaper, it's more effective, and it's much healthier on that kind of scale, if you will, and you actually get benefits as opposed to harming your health and the health of your family. So uh, I have an article on healthywildandfree.com that discusses everything. So it actually lists the 16 chemicals that are in Febreze, BHT, propylene glycol, all these linolol and all type things and all these other type of things, all these other chemicals, uh, and the specific effects they have on your body and your health. So check out that article below, get educated on, on Febreze and Lysol and understand why you should avoid it. And please share this information with your friends and family as it's obviously very important for health and well-being and there's better alternatives. So thanks a lot for your time. This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Please subscribe, like, favorite, comment, and share this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free, and have a great day. Bye.